Well, the 150 has developed a nose wheel shimmy. It's been progressively getting a little bit worse. Most mechanics will have you go after the shimmy dampener first. But my mechanic suggested that we look at the play in the scissors here, here, and here. And we rebuild the shimmy dampener. And we check for play or excessive play in the steering collar, which seems like we don't have any right now. But we'll take a look after we take it apart. I've pre-purchased a kit from McFarland Aviation. It has new bushings and new bolts to tighten up the scissors. We disconnected the scissors by removing this bolt that connects the upper steering system with the horn and the, uh, the lower portion of the wheel assembly. And you can see that both the top and the bottom are just loose and I don't know if you can hear that but each one of them rattles. If you play back and forth they, there's a significant amount of play. That's where the shimmy's coming from. Although the dampener might not be doing as good a job as a rebuilt or new dampener might, the tolerances on these parts are almost excessive. So we're going to keep disassembling it and rebush and see if we can't tighten that up a little bit, see if that stops the problem in addition to all the other things. So look at that, new bushings pressed in there. We had to drill one of these halfway and then hammer the other one out. And the new one's got put in there. So now all our tolerances on the bolt and the slide are much tighter. So let's go put it back together. Without the nuts being tightened, the nuts are just finger tight. These have no play and they hold their position. Well, that one not quite as much, but there's still very little play in it. Holds its position where they're put. There's virtually no play left or right. To bring that out, they go in there to take all the slop out of the system. <laughs> 